this glow honey get into it Hey guys, it's your girl Naturally Not A Here. I'm back with another video. Today I'm going to be doing a full face of wet and wild makeup. These are new 2019 releases. They're not necessarily super duper new. They're new to me. But these products that I have in front of me right here, I think um, are really good for spring and summer. It's a lot of things that really interested me that I really wanted to get my hands on. Everything's super duper affordable too. So yeah, I had to go ahead and get me a full face popping and show you guys on camera today. So yes, if you are interested in seeing me do a full face of wet and wild makeup, start to finish, you know what to do. Just please. All right, guys, so we are going to start off with the brows, actually. I know you cannot even see my eyebrows uh, because of this hair that I have on, but I'm gonna take my handy dandy clips right here and we is just gonna clip this out of the way. I picked up this brow pencil right here. This is the Wet n Wild Ultimate Brow Retractable Brow Pencil and it is in the shade Medium Brown. This is what it looks like right here. It's one of those double-ended brow pencils with the spoolie on one side and then it's gonna have the product on the other. Okay, there we go. So, it looks like a nice chocolatey brown color. So then I'm just gonna take the brow pencil and outline my brows starting from the beginning and working my way out to the edge like how this is gliding on I do not like the Anastasia brow definer that looks like this one I really um, prefer the brow whiz Using that one has really like turned me off to these type of pencils, but this one's working really, really good. Really good. And even though it is in the shade medium brown, it's still pretty dark, so I like that. And then I just went in with the Wet n Wild Concealer, which is called, this is not new to me, I've had this for quite a while. This is the Photo Focus Concealer right here. Um, I just went in with that and I cleaned up the brows, it's in the shade medium tawny. So I'm going to go ahead and use a little bit more of this now to prime my eyelids for eyeshadow. I'm going to use um, the Wet n Wild Concealer Brush to pat that in all over my lids. So for eyeshadow, I'm going to use the Wet n Wild Not A Basic Peach Palette, which looks like this right here. Here retail for like $4.99 and they are so good I have a few other ones the way the eyeshadows perform in these palettes is really ridiculous for the price these are so good All right so the first shade that I'm going to go into today I'm going to go into uh, the transition shade right here on this side I like how they both say transition on the outer edges so they let you know what they prefer that you use them for so I'm gonna this one of course would not really show up as a transition shade on me so I'm gonna use this one right here. I'm gonna be going in with a Wet n Wild blending brush. These brushes right here are very, very affordable along with the other one I just used, the concealer brush. You can find these at Dollar General, Dollar uh, Tree actually. Um, you can find them at Walgreens and these brushes are really good. I've had them for a very long time. The pigment on these is real, just so you know. And as you can see, so tread lightly. Now that I have that nice and built up into my crease, I'm taking a smaller blending brush by Wet n Wild. I'm gonna use that to blend this top portion out. I'm not taking that much of that shadow just the tiniest amount, just to blend everything out. Stop 
with that, we're gonna go on to the next shade. So for the next shade, I believe I'm going to go ahead and take the darkest shade in the palette, which is this dark chocolatey brown right here. For that, I'm gonna take this little Luxie brush right here. This is the Luxie 213 Eye Shading Brush, and I'm going to dip into there. Look how dark this is. This is so pigmented. There is some kickback and some fallout with these. I mean, it's very, very pigmented. So I'm just patting that on the outer V and I'm gonna run that into my crease like really tightly too, right in that socket of my eye. out I have a little bit of that concealer that same wet and wild photo focus concealer on a smaller like little fader brush from wet and wild and I'm going to use that to cut my crease So now for this area that I cut, I did not cut it all the way, of course. I just cut it three-fourths of the way. I'm gonna take this shade right here, which is a pretty like peachy type of color. Doesn't look, ooh, okay, it is pretty. It is pretty, it doesn't have that much shimmer in it. It just has like a very subtle shimmer. I'm gonna take the same brush that I used to cut my crease. I'm gonna spray it with a little bit of this primer water that we will be using in a few minutes. And I build it up just a little bit but it's pretty I did some liner and lashes wet and wild does have eyeliner liquid eyeliner and they do have lashes actually I just didn't have either one um, and I do not really like their lashes they're just not um, dramatic enough for me so we're going to go ahead and move on with the skin to start out for skin I'm going to go in with this primer right here this is the wet and wild water drop primer and this is in coconut I am so, ooh, Lord, I done spilt it on my pants. Dang it. <laughs> All right, so I love, mm, it smells really good. It does smell like coconut. It says water. I mean, that's like right up my alley because if you know me, you know I have dry skin. It says um, that it is a revolutionary cream to water formula. It feels it feels so good. Oh my God. Oh, it feels so good. It's, it definitely feels pretty watery, but I love it. That feels so good. So next I'm gonna go in with the Co Photo Focus Coconut 3-in-1 Primer Water. I love coconut smell. It's one of my favorite scents. It's one of my favorite foods actually. I love anything that has coconut in it. So. Yeah, I love the smell. This is the Photo Focus Stick Foundation right here, and this is in the shade Toffee. Let's say that it is medium, deep, and warm, and this is what it looks like right here. Looks like it's gonna be, I can already tell, it's looking like it's gonna be a perfect shade match for me, but this is what it looks like right here. Let's see how much we get in here. Wow, that's a lot. It's been about two minutes, so I'm gonna go ahead and mark this on my face. Ooh. It looks like it's gonna have some really good coverage on it. We're gonna go ahead and blend this out. I'm gonna use 
this brush right here. This is by Royal and Lang Nickel, uh, their Moda brand. This is from Walmart. And these type of brushes are really good for blending out stick foundations. All right guys, so I do have the foundation on my face and I'm gonna say like, what foundation? Like it looks so natural. I really like natural type foundations. Um, I don't really have too many problem areas. So something that just makes my skin like skin but better, like my skin but better, I really, really like. And it seems like that's what this is. I do have the claims on the foundation. This is actually on the Wet n Wild website. It says slay all day and play all night in this long lasting multitasking cover stick currently available in 21 widespread shades. 21 shades pretty decent, especially for this. It delivers long lasting coverage in a breakthrough lightweight multi-dimensional formula that applies to a flawless semi matte finish definitely semi-matte um it's not dewy like other foundation sticks that i do own like the black radiance one which i absolutely freaking love but it's a lot more dewy this one is more of a matte finish uh, but not too matte because i don't know if you saw me do that <laughs> i do that because it proves that i can move my face and um it's not too matte for me so i do like that um it's infused with argan and sunflower seed oils and yeah it says a lot of other crap um I do have a little bit of problem areas right here on my skin and you can still see those which I don't really mind but let's see oops let's see if we can cover those up like if we can build it up a little bit on the cheeky you can still see it just a little bit yeah so it is like a it's semi matte but it's a very natural finish didn't cover it all the way up and honestly I don't mind if you want something super duper heavy duty wouldn't pick this one it's definitely something that I would love to wear every day do I like it more than a black radiance foundation stick I don't know I don't know because whew, that would be hard that'd be a good side-by-side -side test because I don't I don't know but for concealer I'm gonna go back into the photo focus concealer in medium tawny and I'm just going to put that underneath my eyes down I'm actually gonna go in with this the name is completely rubbed off I've had this for such a long time it is in the shade call me maple though it's a contour stick a wet and wild contour stick it's very warm as you can see it's really pretty though it's gonna go well with the eyes and with my hair color right here I'm not gonna do much on my forehead because my hair is gonna be covering it so I'm just gonna do my cheeks really and a little bit on my jawline Blend that out, I'm going to go in with my sponge. Wet n Wild does have a beauty sponge. This is actually the e.l.f. sponge. I heard really good things about the Wet n Wild sponge and I hope to get that one. Um, it is very affordable. I just couldn't find it actually. So I'm just going to blend this out. use this little palette right here as you can see it is very very loved this is the wet n wild mega glow contouring palette in caramel toffee i have used the absolute crap out of this thing i love both of the shades obviously um the contouring shade is perfect for my skin tone the banana shade is beautiful i do not have the wet n wild translucent or the wet n wild um banana powder that is a loose powder they actually do have those they didn't have it at my Walgreens and it was sold out at my Walmart. So sad, sad, sad. But I usually do not like setting my under eye with a pressed powder. Um, but for today, 
to keep it all wet and wild. That's what we're gonna do. And I'm actually just gonna use this wet and wild foundation brush to do it. I'm also gonna set underneath this contour right here. bronzer for bronzer I'm gonna go in with one of the new wet n wild color icon bronzers this is in the shade what shady beaches they always have the funniest names so I'm gonna take this angled brush from wet n wild also just dip it in there and set this contour and just add some color back to my skin yes Yes, I love that. Wow, I really like this bronzer. I think this is such a nice, like, warm shade. It's really, really pretty. Yes, it's really, really nice. So, to intensify that just a little more, I'm gonna go in with one of their more shimmery bronzers. This one is called Palm Beach Ready, and I've had this one for a while, and I've actually, you know, used this before. So I'm just gonna add like just a little, ooh, you see how pretty that is? I'm just gonna add a little bit of shimmer to this. I'm gonna go into the new Color Icon blush. This is one of the new shades. It's called Pearlescent Pink. It's just like a really pretty like peachy pink blush. So I'm taking a Wet n Wild blush. Ooh, okay. Okay, okay, let me calm down. I'm taking a Wet n Wild blush brush and I'm just going to pop that on the apples of my cheeks. Ooh, so pretty. Also gonna put it on the tip of my nose. Ooh, yes. <laughs> so next I'm just going to set my face and I'm gonna use the Wet n Wild Coconut Primer Water once again. While my face is still dewy, we're going to go in with some highlights. We're going to go in with two highlighters. First, I'm going to start off with the Wet n Wild Hello Halo Liquid Highlighter. This is not new. This is in the shade Goddess Glow. I've had it for quite some time. I just haven't really used it. I've used it a couple times, but not really. I'm going to put some on the back of my hand. You can see how beautiful that is right here. And I love how it has this doe foot applicator. It makes it, you know, simpler than just having a dropper. I like the droppers, I think they're cool, um, but they're not really that practical. So I'm gonna take my sponge, dip it into the highlighter, and then I'm just going to apply it to my cheeks. Oh my God, look at that. That looks so pretty. Oh my gosh. I need more. With these type of liquid highlighters, I highly recommend you know, not applying them directly to your face. I definitely recommend applying them to the back of your hand and then using a sponge to apply it to your face so you don't mess up your makeup, especially if you're going in over powders. A lot of people don't really like liquid highlighters because they don't really know how to use them and they can mess up your makeup if you don't use them correctly. So to intensify that even more, we gotta be extra. We're gonna go in with the Wet n Wild Loose Highlighter. This is in the shade Hustle and Glow. To apply that, I'm just gonna take this Wet n Wild Fan Brush and I'm gonna spray my brush again. Why not? Ooh, looks really pretty. You know it's hard out here for a pimp. You try to get that money for the rent. I got these beats in my head, man. Oh my God, this is so pretty. Ooh -wee. 
Mm. Oh my god, this is so pretty. Gotta do it, guys. Glowing today. We is glowing. my under eye I just ran that chocolatey brown and also that transition shade underneath there and I'm gonna finish it off with some mascara but first I just wanted to go ahead and do the lip for the lip I'm gonna be using this wet n wild liquid cat suit high shine lipstick and this is in the shade peach stole my look <laughs> as you can see I did go ahead and line my lips with a brown lip liner freaking cute so yeah guys this is the finished look i really hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you guys so much for watching as far as these products my first impressions and the ones that i've already tried um the ones that i've already tried definite favorites wet n wild is definitely one of my favorite brands and i love how they are expanding their shade range and trying to be more inclusive i have noticed that from them so i'm really um excited about that they are trying and I see Wet n Wild for that. The bronzer I'm absolutely in love with. I'm definitely gonna be using that all summer long. Hustle and glow. I'm a Tennessee girl, I'm from Tennessee. I went to college in Tennessee. I still live in Tennessee, so I am a Tennessee girl. So the fact that they named this Hustle and Glow uh, from Hustle and Flow, if you didn't know, I absolutely love it. And um, this is absolutely stunning, a very, very nice um, loose highlighter and I believe I paid $6.99 for it at Walgreens everything here is a freaking winner I highly recommend you guys going out and trying everything that I tried today I also absolutely love these uh, three-in-one primer waters I'm definitely going to be getting the other scents which are rose and cucumber uh, $4.99 something like that everything's really really affordable and I also want to try more of these high shine lipsticks they do have multiple shades and this this feels so good it feels like a colored lip gloss and it's really really pretty I'm absolutely loving wet and wild right now like you guys did that you did that you really did <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching and I cannot wait to hopefully see you in my next video bye